Amanda from AmandaFrances.com. I've had a couple requests to do some money manifestation tips. So people have been asking me questions about how to manifest money and I'm happy to talk about it. Money Mentality Makeover is really where I go deep into this subject. There's um, three 90 minute calls and a lot of really good homework. But yeah, we can do some work together now. Why don't you guys sit up straight? Just stop what you're doing. Uh, you can give me hearts after, or you can give me hearts now, but close your eyes. <laughs> close your eyes while you tap the screen. <laughs> okay, so sit up straight. Turn your palms upward. Focus on that space between your eyebrows, rolling your eyes in and up. And begin to breathe in deeply. And maybe stretch your chest. Sometimes I can be like so tense in here, right? So open your heart. And what we have to do really, when it comes to money, is we have to change it from being just a needs-based food, shelter, clothing issue to it being a heart issue. Money is just a, a resource. I say this all the time. But money is just a way for you to fulfill your highest desires. Money is just a way for you to do your part in the world. Money is just a way for you to live out your purpose. And when we stop thinking about it like this thing that we're greedy or selfish or whatever for wanting and we just think about it as something we intend to use for good and we believe that the universe desires like deeply desires to bring us what we want it all gets easier it's not so scary it's just of course my needs are met and my desires are fulfilled of course they are because that I am that in sync with the universe. Um, I heard it described once as like you take it away from your root chakra and literally plug it into your heart chakra and you start thinking of money as a heart, emotion, love based thing, right? And that's easy, that's way easier for us spiritual heart centered people to do. We can feel, <laughs> if it's something we can feel, it gets a lot easier for us, right? Okay, so with that in mind, if money is not good or bad, if it's just a neutral resource, if it's just something you can choose to use for your good, if it's just something that is the only reason it exists is for you to live out your purpose and fulfill your desires and make a big difference, if that were true, then what? Then it's less scary. Then you're more confident getting clear on what you want and making a request and believing that it's yours, believing you can have it, right? So then every day you're just in the energy of it. Every day you're just in the vibe of it is mine, it is mine, it is mine, it has already come. It was so quick, it was so easy, it is mine. Okay? And you feel it. You feel it in your heart. You feel it. I get tingly up here. You feel it everywhere, right? And you believe. And you go back to that feeling all day long, as many times a day as possible. Go back to the feeling. Journal out the fears, journal out the limiting beliefs, tell a new story around each limiting belief, work through the chaos and the craziness and go back to love, go back to joy, go back to abundance, go back to trusting. That is how we manifest. Got it? Okay, so if everyone wants to close their eyes and sit up straight, let's do a little meditation. Breathe in deeply, breathing in through your nose. Holding and releasing. Breathing in again. Holding and releasing. I just wanna ask you, why are you here? Why were you led to this moment? What is it that you're ready to receive? Or what crazy belief or feeling or thought are you ready to let go of? So be clear on why you're here, what you want to work through, what you want to let go of, and what you want to receive. Now feel it coming in. See it coming in. See yourself getting excited, jumping up and down, 
hugging your partner, running around your house, knowing that the universe gave you exactly what you asked for and you were able to co-create. Manifestation truly worked for you. And feel those feelings and know it is yours. And know that you don't have to know how. You don't need to know how. You just need to trust that it's happening in a way that it is of the highest good that you probably cannot even fathom yet. In a way that you can't even see yet, right? That's how it always happens, right? That's why we have to hold on after it looks like it didn't happen, after it looks like it's not occurring. You set the goal, the money doesn't come by that date, and then the next day you wake up and still believe it's coming. It's not faith till it until it looks like it didn't happen and you still know it is going to. That's when it's faith. That's the, the energy that moves mountains, right? That's the energy that causes miracles. Got it? So see it happening, feel it happening, know it's yours and trust and release and angels, God, universe, all that is good we ask that it come in the most divine time and in the most divine way in a way that is of the highest good we're willing to drop our our details and our need to manipulate and control how, how this happens and just trust and know that if, if something is for our good and something does benefit us and we trust and believe that you're on our side you will deliver every single time if you're willing to receive guidance on next steps and what our part is to do to receive the manifestation of our desires right so all day long tomorrow and the next day and every day till you receive all day long, you go back to this feeling of, oh my God, it happened to me. I got what I asked for, I received. It happened so quickly and so easily in a way I never could have imagined. And I am so thankful. And feel that as though it has already come to pass. Got it, lovers? That's how I manifest. And I'd be lying to you if I didn't say that there wasn't a lot of deep seated, deep rooted limiting beliefs that working through them can really, really help your manifestation game. Of course there are, and that's the point of the money course. And sometimes that's what people have to do in order to stay in the feeling. But the bottom line is that we get what we're an energetic match for. And that's how I become an energetic match for money. I believe and know it's mine. Got it? And it gets easier and easier to be in that space when I work through every crazy thought and limiting belief and forgive every childhood experience and whatever that made me think I wasn't worthy of money. I do all that work too, right? So I don't want to discount that. But do whatever you have to do to get into the energy of knowing you are worthy. And if the money course is for you, I would love to have you. I mean, only you can know whether you're, you're led to that. Okay, lovers. You're doing such a good job. You are capable of manifesting. It is your job just to stay in the feeling and know it's yours. And when you leave the feeling and you don't feel abundant, to not judge yourself, to just be a non judgmental witness of your fear and then shift back to knowing it is yours. Got it? I will talk to you soon. I'm XO Amanda Francis on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and my website is amandafrancis.com. Okay, I love you guys so much. XO, XO, love you. Bye.